hello everybody welcome i am prasanta in this video we are going to talk about uh, how to use the drag and drop functionality in a uh, visual basic the technique that i'm going to show you it's going to work well with all the three versions of visual basic vb.net vb 2005 and vb 2008 uh, as you can see here i have already opened my visual basic 2008 project uh, 8 and i have a one form and i have uh, three labels and one list view controls the three labels i change the text properties to text properties to be one two three and uh, in the label <coughs> i just uh, i just leave, uh, left it as it is okay now some other things also i changed i changed for all the for uh, controls which is the allow drag and drop uh, allow drop property here this uh, this one allow drop property okay if you see my all the four lay uh, all the four controls i changed to be true if you want to use a uh, dra drag and drop functionality in your controls you have to change them uh, change them to be true by default it's false so uh, remember that you have to change them to be true okay uh, in this presentation what i want to show you is uh, let me run the application to show you what i want to do in this uh, presentation okay when i uh, click the these labels number one number two number three and if i drag them to the uh, the list box uh, the list uh, the list view controls it has to automatically detect which label that i dragging from and it has to take the text property of this label and it has to place them inside the list box uh, control this is what we are trying to achieve okay now uh, now in order to do that uh, i'm going to get back into the uh, code editor first i need to start performing the drag and drop of functionality when i uh, move the uh, move the mouse into the labels and if and i press the mouse down event i need to start the drag and drop functionality okay my in or in uh, uh, so we need the mouse down event so uh, instead of uh, creating a mouse down event for the all the three labels what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create a one sub procedure with the event signature in it and i'm gonna assign all the three labels mouse event in one location so uh, we don't have to type a lot of codes so i'm gonna start with creating the sub procedure with the uh, event signature in order to do that pr private sub i am gonna name the procedure with the la label mouse down mouse down okay and i need the sender who is sending the uh, who is sending the event as object okay and i need the uh, E as an event arc which event they are sending event arc. okay close parentheses now handle okay la is uh, my first label with the number one dot uh, mouse down comma la2 is uh, my second label with the uh, text number two uh, dot mouse down comma la3 is my third label dot mouse down okay now what i did is just assign all the mouse down even for the all the three labels in a one place so i can manage them very easily <coughs> now the next thing that i what i have to do is i need to know which label is sending the and sending the uh, this mouse down event so i'm going to extract the object the sender object and i'm going to get them as a label in order to do that uh, you need a local variable label so i'm going to name it lab as a label okay i'm going to set the label equal to c type C type in the parentheses sender who is sending the event so sender oh, I, I made a mistake here it's a sender s e n d e r sender sorry guys okay sender s e n d e r sender 
comma uh, it's a label okay again I made mistake here I don't need this extra s okay okay now we are just now we know which label is sending this event okay then now, now the next thing is we're gonna start perform performing this uh, 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 drag drag copy functionality or do that lab dot do drag do drag drop okay in the parentheses uh, it's an object it's a label okay and copy all right now when we mouse down in our label just yeah, start copying the label and when we move the mouse uh, to the list view control and now we are going to start writing code for when we move the mouse down to the list view control which is list view one um, drag enter yes, drag enter yes okay now now we have to get this label that we copied from the label mouse down procedure so in order to extract the label again we need the local label variable label label as a label okay and a label equal to um, label equal to uh, e dot data dot get data uh, uh, get type get type label okay okay now we are get the label that that we copied from the label mouse down event now we can extract all the elements from this label now what I want to do in this project is to I need to know this label what is the text property of this label and I need to put this text property inside the list view box so in order to do that it's very easy now uh, list view one dot items dot add parentheses lab dot text that's it okay now we have just finished our drag and drop functionality in this project now if I would run the application you can see I'm gonna click the number one and I'm gonna drag them to the list box you can see it's placing its uh, uh, you can see it's placing the number one inside the list box and if I drag the number two and if I move to the list box you can see the number three yes okay all right guys uh, that's it for this project uh, I have another project available that I'm gonna show you just I'm gonna run the project to show you how it works but I'm going to be uploading this project and the other project in my website. You can download them and you can play around with it and you can do your own experiments. So this is my other pod, other project for the drag and drop. I'm going to run the application here. Okay. And here like I have a small thumbnail pictures and <coughs> I, if I drag this picture and if I put them inside this big panel you can see it's you get the big picture. It's my other project. Okay, uh, again, uh, these two projects will be available in my site. You can go and download them. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, you can write a comment on my site. So I'll be answering your question as soon as possible. And thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you very soon in my another video. Bye-bye.